Alright guys, I'm new at this, this is definitely my uh, first video ever, but I'm going to show y'all how to set the timing on an iron head. Uh, you're going to have to put up with the quality, all I have is my phone so I'm going to have to put it down every now and again, but we're more or less going to go through the whole process of timing your oil hole, because if you look right now, my marks, they all match up good, right? But my oil hole is not showing at 12 o'clock, and I see this mistake happening a lot. And it says a right in your tech manual on how to fix it. So the first thing we're going to do is we're going to pop all our cams out. Set them up, keep them in order. And just for those of you guys that are uh, cleanliness freaks, I'd like to let you all know that this is my practice motor. It's never going to actually end up uh, back in a bike. I use this to do something on before I've ever done it before. You know what I mean? Just so I know what I'm doing when I go into it. Now you see this timing mark here. <laughs> And it's connected to a uh, pinion shaft right there, and this, this shaft runs into your crank. It's arguably the most important thing to get lined up. Now this is pretty easy to take off. Some of them are easier than others. This motor's been on and off a lot. So all you do is give it a nice tug, good pull. Just a second, got to use both hands. Go. So give that a good pull and it comes right off. If you look, you see these gouges in here, these channels. They all run, and you got different size channels here and here and here and so. So the big one follows right up the middle of your timing mark, as you can see. So now what we have to do, this oil hole right here isn't pointing straight out. Now it's pretty simple because after that, this spins right out. Adjust my light. All right, let's see how that works. No oil hole right here. This this pinion moves in and out and on and off and you see it follows the same channels as this one so we stack those on top of each other now you can move your oil this is your oil pump you're literally turning the oil pump right now so right there is 12 o'clock that's what we're shooting for you see so the way you get that to go straight is you move it back about a quarter of the way Move it back about a quarter of the way, and then you put on your pinion, right? Oops. Pinion only goes on, right? You see it looks the same on both sides? If you put it on backwards and you try to push, it's not going to go too easy. See what I mean? You can't push it on. Here, flip it around, and it goes right in. You see it spins the oil pump. Right there, see it goes right in, spins the oil pump, bam, 12 o'clock, perfect. Just so you all know, I am actually that badass. Now, what you would do with that, that 12 o'clock perfect, you see how this bigger gouge is kind of about 11 o'clock? Well, it just so happens that timing mark is supposed to be at 11 o'clock. My God. So you give this a little, little shove, and it's kind of snug going back on. So, what do you want to use? You want to use your beating device and slide it on in, just like that. Rider! Sorry, my dog is getting away. There we go. So now you take this timing mark. Let's see if I can push this motor back so you guys can see what I'm doing. Use both hands. might work. Holy shit, I'm a professional. Alright, so these are our, our first two right here. And I like to do this because it's uh, 
See this one has three timing marks, okay? One, two, three. This one here in the middle lines up with your 11 o'clock mark. It takes a lot of putting these in and taking them out. So, you know, want to put one in. Find your timing marks on the other. There we go. So now I see where it needs to go, right? Bam. Pull this one out. Find your hole. Slide this one in. See, so I slid it in, it's a little bit off. Easy fix. Pull it out, turn it to the right a little bit, match it up. Now it matches here, but it's not lined up here. Once again, easy fix. Pull it out, rotate this cam. Boom. Matches up. How easy is that? Now, next thing you're going to do is you're going to throw this one in. You can see this one has only two timing marks on it one here, one here. One there, one there. This one always confuses me because I forget. Here we go. This mark is going to point down, right? And if you get it wrong, you'll find out in just a second. It's not a real big deal. I mean, it is, but you'll figure it out. Get everything to line up. About as good as we can. All right, I'm way off. You see, this timing mark's all the way down here. I need to be up here. Screwed up. Now, pull it out. Twist it back in the upward direction. Boom. Oop, this cam, I always have an issue. When I set this cam, this one drops out a little bit. Once again, it's not hard to fix. Pull this one out. Move it back a notch. Slide it back in. Bam, bam, bam. Three out of four done. Is this easy, people? This easy. All right. Now number four. Boom. See what I'm saying? That is literally it. Just like that. All your cams match up. See that all my timing marks line up perfect. Oil holes at 12 o'clock. Only other thing you need to make sure is that your pistons, which uh, I'm not even worried about that. You guys can figure out how to get the top dead center. It's in your tech manual. If you're working on an iron head and you don't have a tech manual, you're either mentally insane or a really, 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 really good mechanic. So, there you go. If you guys got any other questions, I'm going to try to start up kind of a YouTube page. You know what I'm saying? So, uh, post up comments, concerns, whatever you're worried about on these motors. Like I said, I got this junk motor sitting right here. I can do anything to it you need me to, except for uh, pop it apart. I just don't have the tools. Honestly, I don't have the know-how to pull it apart. When I get brave, I'll try it. But for now, it's staying just like this. So uh, that's it for my first installment, man. Y'all have fun. You have a good day.